marine energy is right at the first stages. It's very early in its development. It's comparable, I'd say, to something like the Model T Ford, but the Model T Ford actually revolutionised transport. So I think that's exactly where we're sitting right at the moment. It's very difficult to say exactly how much energy uh, we can get out of marine, but we think it's a huge amount. Um, the figures done by the Carbon Trust suggest it's a fifth of the UK's electricity supply, and that is about half of what we're getting out of gas turbines, or it's about the same as what nuclear is delivering for the UK as a whole. Now for Scotland, it's an even bigger proportion because we've got much more energy here uh, than Scotland really needs. The Zoltar Prize is Scotland's energy challenge to the world. So it's a £10 million prize for clean, renewable marine energy. It's the biggest environmental prize that there has been globally. And it's to try and address our need for new, innovative technologies for energy production. It partly stems around the fact that if you look around Scotland's coastline, we have a huge amount of marine energy. And for anybody who's been up to the north of Scotland, between the north coast of Scotland and the Orkney Islands, the Pentland Firth is a tremendous example of really fabulous energy potential. The tide that goes through there twice a day, uh, no matter what of the other meteorological or weather conditions there are, is fantastic and if we can harness some of that energy it will go part way to delivering the sort of energy that not just we need in Scotland uh, and the UK but that the world needs to be able to deliver the growing demand for energy that we have. The Saltire Prize is simply excellent. It's exactly the right sort of signal the industry needs. Um, it shows vision and it shows determination and it shows leadership. It clearly also needs major investment to assist getting machines into the water but the Saltire Prize I think is quite visionary.